What's up everybody? Welcome to one of my home parks, Bush Gardens Williamsburg, a place that Sarah has not been to in well, almost 10 years. Yep, last time I was here was 2012. Wow, okay, so we got some roller coasters here that you have not done that we gotta get on. And so. many I have forgotten. Yeah, yeah, so so we got Tempesto, Invader, which are gonna be brand new for you. Uh, maybe Verbolton, possibly? I'm not sure. At this point, I, I have no functioning memory, so <laughs> I'm not really sure. And I can't I can barely remember last week, let alone nine years. So maybe maybe when I'm but, there it'll come back yeah, to me. Yeah. We'll but you see. you said one of the things you remember about this park is that it's just so pretty. Oh like, yeah, it's gorgeous here. Yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah, it's a it's a cool place. So we got here about three o'clock and they are actually open till ten tonight, which means night, night rides. rides. Definitely didn't do that last time. Yeah. So And I'm excited because it's rare that you get night rides at this park, I feel like. I, I don't even remember the last time I got a night ride here. So I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go inside. All right, so this is a new one. Uh, literally, right after we turn off the camera, we were walking down the path towards the entrance, and there's an announcement that comes over that says, uh, "Please seek, seek shelter immediately. We're under a tornado warning." We should go. They're like, they're like, get undercover. They're saying everyone go to the restrooms, and uh, it's until the weather goes away. We're like, what the heck? I mean, there's like a storm cloud up there, but tornado warning? What? All right, we sought shelter, even though it's not raining or. Anything, but hey, it's hey, gonna tornado if a tornado though. comes, we'll be safe, and uh, we can put on these hats here to keep us safe. What can we hide under? I don't know. That's the exit only, Sarah. Uh, there you go. The tornado will never find you in here. Here, here, here. There it is. All right. Where'd she go? I don't know. These are some spooky clouds. Update, it rained for like two minutes and now it stopped. So, I don't know, I guess we just try and go in the park? I guess. I don't know, that was, that was the shortest tornado warning in the history of tornado warnings. <laughs> We're in the park and, wow, they weren't kidding when they said uh, everything has been temporarily suspended. Uh, they suspended the parking trams going out to the parking lot. I think all of the rides are down as well as like the gift shops and restaurants and stuff. Good news is, I mean, it looks like it's pretty much behind us, so I imagine everything will be opening up soon. But yeah, this is a little weird. I've never seen the park like this or any park like this for that matter. Good news, guys, they didn't close the animals, so we can still look at them. So this right here is Battle for Ire that will probably never reopen ever again. It is a VR attraction. It only lasted for like two seasons. It's closed for an event. Yeah, that's normal operation. It's probably done for good. I don't know if it'll be missed or not. It was kind of weird. It was all right, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Looks like our first ride of the day is gonna be Griffin because they just started testing it. So I imagine they're gonna open it pretty momentarily. So we're gonna go uh, hop in this line that's kind of forming outside the entrance. Yeah, this is a good sign. Line is moving. Hey, this wasn't too bad at all. No, not at all. I mean, the way I see it, uh, I imagine this tornado warning probably cleared out a lot of people. I really hope so, because now we have <clears throat> five and a half hours. Going every we, we should have plenty of time. To enjoy the power and speed of the mythical Griffin. It's time to get back on Griffin. Yes. I actually got to give a shout out to my younger sister. This is her first, like, big roller coaster. Oh wow, Mock Tower is actually open. Oh. It's kind of surprising. Oh, I've got all nice views up here. Oh, I love it. Look at the water there. Wow. Wow. Oh, and look how beautiful the factory is. Ah, the Budweiser factory. <laughs> Say ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I think I still like Shikra a little bit. Did you get the edge? has the better second drop from the tunnel and, and on, on one end of Shikra uh, it gets really close to the mid course that there's like a near miss yeah. but I don't know there's something about this one I don't know I, I still think I give this that huh I wonder if it's called Home Park Bias it's not I'm biased against my home park I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> This is a PSA for any parks that are still closing their water fountains because of COVID. Stop! Stop. <laughs> Don't make us go to a restaurant wait in a line to get a cup of water. Just open the dang drinking fountains. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's time. It's time. <sighs> All right, so this is going to be brand new for you. First time seeing this is Invader. 
Last time you were yeah. here, this was uh, nowhere near as nice of a looking area. No, well, actually, quite honestly, I don't remember. But I'm sure it didn't look like this. <laughs> no, not this even close. Beautiful... I know, I love this guy. If you want to uh, see something funny, go look up the original, uh, what this looked like here. And uh, if you know, you know. Back row. On Invader. 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 I missed the original front of these trains. It was like a dragon head. And like the other train had like a bear head on it. And now it's just boring. Oh. I like how it passes over the log flume. Let's see if we can wave to anyone. Oh, we can. Hello. Hi. Hi. Wave back. Yay, they wave back. All right, we're good. Goodbye. It's like a baby mine. Mystic Timbers. Oh, I miss Mystic Timbers. I do too. Do you think it misses us? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I even miss the shed. We have a shed here. What do you think, La Victoria? <laughs> La Victoire. <laughs> 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 All right, Sarah, do you know what this used to be? Do you remember this? No. This was Curse of Dark Castle, a fantastic dark ride that was here. Well, okay. To be fair, the only time I came here, we did exclusively roller coasters. Ah, so. oh, man, so you didn't get to do I was, it. No. I no, love no. this thing. So many good jokes. I mean, they were bad jokes, but they were good. Yeah, good bad jokes are great. I <laughs> love them. So yeah. The only thing you do is make good bad jokes. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, Mock Tower is actually open, and uh, no, we're not gonna do it. This thing sucks. Sorry. You're not I gonna think get I'll to live. Ride. Yeah. It actually has a line. But um. Why are they using Frontier Airlines? I don't know, but you can board Use... your plane right this way, sir. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? Why? Look how good this is. It's a pizza pretzel. It's a piece of pretzel. Can I eat it now? Are you done yeah, filming it? That's yes. fine. It's brave, black forest. It's brave, black forest. It's a little intimidating. Here we go. Very unique. Scared the living crap out of me. Well, because I know everyone's gonna ask, yeah, nothing's going on with Pantheon, which sucks. They were testing a while ago. I didn't get to see a test in person because I just went on the wrong day, I guess. But yeah, it's been sitting here all quiet for a while now. It sucks. Honestly, the best part about this lift hill is that you get a good view of Pantheon. It is so sad. Please open. Yeah, everything is so compact. Yeah, right here. it really is. Yeah.
It's got some good airtime elements. It, yeah. it does. Um, it doesn't do enough for me though. Yeah. Yeah, some of those hills towards the end are kind of like a little lackluster. Wow, would you look at that? Escape from Pompeii is actually open. I think we're going to go do it. It has been a long time since I've ridden this thing, uh, but it's fun. I'm, I'm just glad to see it operating. So hey, let's go for a ride. Hey, for those who watch Loki, now whenever I see this ride, I just think about how this is a Nexus event. the biggest roller coaster that we have yet to do and we're about to get on it. I am very excited. Yeah. Definitely rode this in the past. Probably was terrified. Now I am a big girl and I'm ready to rock. Honestly, it's just good to see all of the roller coasters open here at Busch Gardens, except for Pantheon, of course, because, I mean, last time I was here, so many of the rides were just not open, and, and same with the restaurants, too. I think Fest House was the only restaurant that was open earlier this summer, so I'm glad to see everything operating. I mean, granted, we are here on a weekend, but still. The bad, I'd rather go actual skiing. Yes, I hate skiing. This is the part of the video where I make a joke about how loud the lift is. Also intense. Not but that is joke. Oh. Less than an hour till park closes. It is definitely time for some night rides, like full night rides, not fake night rides, like Alpine guys. We're gonna do for Bolton and then end things out on Apollo's chariot. And My snaps are particularly loud today, and I'm. They're playing pop music, and I really don't know how I feel about it. This is Bush Gardens, like why? Well, that was cool. So. We're in line for Verbolton, doing it in the front row, and as we dispatch, they start sending out fireworks, and they're still going oh, up. Oh, cool. That was cool. I didn't even know they were doing fireworks today. Yeah, so, and Verbolton night ride is awesome. It was awesome. We could not I see I love that ride. Nothing. It was pitch black out there. I mean, oh, okay. yeah, that's what you said for sure your favorite ride here, right? I think, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. It's, it's just so well done. Usually, like, indoor roller coasters, I'm like, they're kind of tacky. Not at all tacky. I have no idea what's going on the entire time, which is great. And it's very intense. It's very fast. Yeah. Unusual for being in a compact space like that, but it's great. Look at that. Look at that. What do you look at? Good news is, I think we're the only ones that decided to come to Apollo's Chariot for the last ride of the night. So, probably gonna be able to get multiple rides. Yay, last ride! This is what I like to see. I can deal with this. Dude, weekend crowds really are something else. Oh, yeah. We just did three rides on Apollo's Chariot, which, first of all, is an awesome night ride. It's amazing. Could I not was not see overly impressed in the day, but it's great at night. Yeah, so uh, we did three rides where we were allowed to just stay in the train because there was no one there. And our last ride that we had was so bizarre. So one first of, of all, the strangest rides I've ever so had. So we're departing the station, and first of all, everyone is so hyped. Like you think it was an enthusiast event. Yeah, they're like, I love you, man. I love you, man. And they're high fiving the ride. I was like, everyone on the train. Everyone is going like, right, nuts. Yeah. We start going up the lift hill, and they start singing "Country Roads Take Me Home." So we sung along. So we that. sung along, and then we look behind us. And the guy behind us. They're smoking and they're passing it around the back They're row. smoking like, a cigarette on the lift hill. And, and the whole ride. It's the entire, we keep looking.
looking back at them and they're still going. Yeah, I don't know. And One somehow, of them didn't fly away or two. It didn't, it didn't fly go away. Out. It didn't, yeah, and then like by the end of the ride, it's still there. And I'm like, what? Yeah. First of all, don't do that. That's so against the rules. So but, bad. Like, but like, it was how? Funny, <laughs> like, why? <laughs> It's like I've never seen anything like that. I don't know. So definitely one of the weirdest rides. It was very had. bizarre. I'm like, okay, this is this is a new one. <laughs> so, other than that, how's your day, Bush Guys? I loved it. I'm so happy that I'm back here. There were like a couple things that I was like, I remember this, I remember that. But other than that, it was like kind of like a new park experience. I think I decided Revolt was my favorite. Yep. We didn't get to Loch Ness because it was down. Um, yeah, I'm pretty bummed about yeah, that. Yeah, that that sucks. But I mean. Other than that, it was a uh, it was a pretty good day. Crowds were uh, crowds were nice, and uh, it was great to get back to this park at night. Uh, I mean, I just want to highlight literally as we're walking by Escape from Pompeii. I mean, look at these colors. That is awesome. That was also fun getting back on that earlier today. That's another one that uh, I don't get on too often. So, yeah, overall, I would call it a very successful visit to uh, Busch Gardens Williamsburg. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.